So the FibroTrader has a big array of drawing tools available. You find those in the drawing tools menu or in the toolbar where you already have some items uh, predefined. In order to draw something in the chart, simply click and hold the left mouse button and then release it when you are done drawing. That's it. When you hover your mouse over the drawing, you will see there are three little circles. So these are the manipulators. The circle in the middle allows you to move the drawing. The circle on the left will allow you to adjust the left side. The circle on the right, adjust the right side. That's basically it. You can uh, right click on the drawing to have, ex have some parameters. And for example, you can give a name and description. So this is my line, but I say, I could give a description and say important support line. And then when I hover over the, over the drawing, I will actually see the description. So, uh, you can store your intention, which you had when drawing, right in the line. Now you can also uh, show the angle of the line, so uh, simply as a text number. You can extend many drawings to the right, so let's say you just draw from one point to the other and then you say extend to the right and it will automatically extend it. So you don't have to continue the drawing all the time with new data coming in. Do not extend. You can make it horizontal again. You can create a fan line, which is just angled to the other line. Right click and delete it. We get rid of it. We can set the thickness also, and the thick line, thin line, as we wish. Some of these drawings also support signals. So. Let me show you what this means in practice. So in our object tree now we have a new drawing section and there's a line one in here. So as we just did in the context menu, you can define the color, the thickness. In addition, we can also define the style. So we can have a dotted style. Okay. Whatever. We can extend it to the left also and not only to the right. And then we can set it to a fixed price ratio of say one it doesn't seem to be too good uh, let's say five no it's the wrong direction 0 0.5 one and this will now lock this line so it cannot be tilt anymore so now it, no matter where i go it will always be in a fixed angle here because it has the same steepness over time. So this is dependent on the time axis and on the price. And we can also lock it to 45 degrees if we want to. And this is independent on the chart. So this doesn't make too much sense in most cases, but it's a border case where you can actually use it. So let's deactivate those and let's see what else we can uh, adjust. The show angle I just showed you. Then we will simply display the angle down here. And then we have signals and signals are now very interesting. So let's say we have our line here and let's say we want to get a signal when the price crosses this line from bottom at the top or when it goes from top to bottom. Simply activate the signals here, click on recalculate and we see there is automatically a signal created here because the price went through the line and closed below. So this is all done in real time so you can move it and you instantly see, let me maybe change the style back to bars it's better visible. You can instantly see 
any every time the chart breaks the line, there's a new signal created. So this is an immensely powerful tool, which can also be used uh, later on. And it also works for extended lines. So you can do the same thing with the extension. It's just treated as one line. Now, having said this, let's delete it and let's quickly go from top to bottom through the available drawing tools in the Fibber Trader. First off, we can deactivate drawing so that when you hold your mouse button, you can actually move the chart window and you don't draw anymore. So this is a special mode. If you don't want to draw, um, simply deactivate it and then you have a nice scrolling possibility. Now let's jump to the Philips. Philips is developed by Robert Fisher. So what you can do with it is you can capture trends. Now I will not now teach how to actually use those tools. I will do a technical explanation. And um, so what you can do is you can drag, you can draw a Philips in here and there will be a warning because it's a round drawing tool. Round drawing meaning there are round shapes here and not just a straight line. And this has an impact and I will show you the impact right now. Let's deactivate this warning. Let's say we have our Philips. Let's say we fit it here into the, into the chart. And now there's a breakout here and one would actually buy when there's a breakout. What happens now if you scale the chart? So look at the breakout point and when I move it, the breakout point moves inside of the Philips. So this is not really usable. This is, the line stays at the same point, but the rounded shape is dynamic. So it will adjust. So in order to compensate this issue, the Fibber Trader has a cool feature which is called uh, fixed axis ratio. This will lock down time and price in the currently seen perspective or in the currently seen ratio. To activate this axis ratio, we go to the chart. It's chart dependent and we go to scaling and then we have this advanced section and the fixed axis ratio down here. So if we activate it, we actually see the chart is changing and it's changing because now the ratio is set to 0 0.25. We can adjust this value, but a better way to set the value is to deactivate, to click into the ratio and then to click on the gray auto button, which will freeze the current uh, scene ratio. So we click on this ratio, freeze, and it's a one 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 ratio. And now when we scale again, it will also scale the price with it. So the round drawing tools remain the same throughout the whole analysis. You can save this setting in your template and then you never have to bother with it again. Of course, if you want to have mixed short-term and long-term analysis, you either use two templates or you have to cope with the chart getting smaller in the long term. So a problem which you will run to with this fixed axis ratio is that if you load a symbol which is trading in a different range than this symbol does, so it's not trading in the hundreds, but it's trading maybe in the thousands like an index is, then this ratio will be not good for this symbol because you will have only a horizontal line totally squeezed. And then you would have to set a different ratio for the symbol and then you would actually need a new template. So to keep you from creating templates all the time, you can also save the ratio symbol dependent. So if you activate this checkbox, the system will remember 0111 for 
3M. Let's save the template. And let's say we go to Alcoa, which has a different ratio. We, we can already see it's down here in the bottom, which is not so good. So let's deactivate it. Let's lock the current ratio. And this is now 0302. So if we save it, go back to 3M, then we see here's our 111 again. And here's our 003. This is what symbol dependent does. You find symbol dependent on several other occurrences as well. Let me switch back to 3M. So you find the symbol dependent switch on several other occasions as well. So you have it, for example, here in the in the appearance tab, you can have the appearance saved uh, symbol dependent. And you can have backtesting set symbol dependent. So if you want to have one template which can analyze futures as well as stocks, then you can have a symbol dependent backtesting set. Okay, with this little excursion, let's come back to our drawings. So this is the Philips right now. So we have the Philips. When you right click on it, you can set a or the ratio which you want it to have. So it's a fixed ratio dependent on phi. You can also have uh, your own ratios. So this is the current ratio list. You can have a new entry, give it any value you want, and um, even define a color. I will show the color with the Fibonacci retracements later on.